can't win a Big 12 championship with defense, can you? Oklahoma State. Cowboys defeat the Longhorns 32-24. Welcome to Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. Before you enjoy the video, please smash the like button. Subscribe right here at the Voice of College Football. We go live every day on one of our channels at least, usually multiple times per day, so lock it in. All right, Oklahoma State defeats Texas 32-24. They come back from 14 down in this one. So on the Texas side for a second consecutive week, so if we would rewind one week plus a couple hours, Texas feeling pretty good about itself up over Oklahoma 28 to 7 that close to taking control of the Big 12 a week later blowing that lead blowing another two score lead Texas is now in trouble in trying to advance to a Big 12 championship game and Steve Sarkeesian it's only his first season but not looking quite as smart right now all right, this Oklahoma State defense is for real. It was last year as well and the season before. Actually, Mike Gundy, who is known as a former quarterback and one of the best in school history, known for finding and developing quarterbacks and wide receiver play at Oklahoma State with some of the best in the nation. But again, this Oklahoma State program has not been a good offensive team for the past several seasons and has relied on rock-solid defense. And that's been the case here in 2021 in building a 6-0 and start. They've got a solid line of victories there at Oklahoma State, but none have been pretty. 21-20 over Boise State. The Baylor game was a low-scoring contest as well as Kansas State 31-20. All right, in this one, they went from... The defense keeping them in the game. They they were close to getting blown out in this one. And then the, the offense finally took hold sometime late in the third quarter into the fourth quarter for the Cowboys. And then the defense slammed the door. They were down 17-3 to to Texas. And Texas had the ball at the Oklahoma State 15-yard line. 15 yards away from making it 24-3. Maybe game, set, match with Oklahoma State's offense, not Oklahoma's offense. Maybe game, set, and match. But Jason Taylor the second picked off a pass, ran it 85 yards for a touchdown. Big mistake by Casey Thompson, telegraphed the pass. Um, Taylor did an amazing job jumping the route and ran it 85 yards to the house. At one point in this game, Oklahoma State had eight drives, two field goals. Six non-scoring drives, two field goals, in eight drives on the defensive side. Again, they have um, not like superstars all over the place, just guys that run and hit and tackle and love to play defense and play good sound team defense, just similar to last season. If they do have one young emerging star, that would be Colin Oliver. He had a couple tackles for loss in this game. Not a creative uh, offensive game plan for Oklahoma state. They have a deal with uh, Spencer Sanders where, He's got a strong enough arm. He's a talented runner. But he's scattershot throwing the football. That's all there is. I don't know that he's ever going to get past that. 19 of 32 for a buck 78. He is just not the most accurate thrower. I don't know that that's going to get corrected. They can help him make better decisions, which he generally did in this game. And suddenly, Oklahoma State's non-creative game plan turned into... The same non-creative game plan as they continue to wear down the Texas defense with the running game, but they started to throw in some gadget plays. And some of them worked, some did not, but they started to give Texas something to think about. But in amongst those couple gadget plays, Jalen Warren and this Oklahoma State offensive line beat down the Longhorns defense. 33 carries for a buck 93 and 154 of that in the second half. Tay Martin is the one guy on the outside that I'm not going to say scares a defense, but he is the main go-to guy for Oklahoma State. He's the reliable number one receiver. And he didn't even get loose in this game and catching uh, six passes for 48 yards. Back to the Oklahoma State defense, though. What a job they did on uh, pressuring Casey Thompson first and foremost, uh, forcing him into mistakes and turnovers. Uh, also, Xavier Worthy, who lit up OU for 261 yards receiving, five catches for 28 yards, five yards per reception. 
Bijan Robinson. The guy's amazing. He's headed to the Heisman Trophy presentation, as was uh, reiterated on today's broadcast about 17 times. 135 yards rushing, but held in check. Only 317 total yards given up by the Cowboys, and they held Texas in check. Four for 14 third down conversions. And when you play defense like that, if you can hang on to the football, not turn it over, and pound the other team with a running game, what else do you need? A reliable field goal kicker. They were forced to kick four field goals in this game. Not a great thing because they had three drives that went inside the five in which they had to kick field goals. That's not a recipe for winning conference championships or getting to the playoff. But... You at least need to convert the field goals, and Tanner Brown's a good one. He hit on four of four. In the fourth quarter, I took down this number. I don't know if it necessarily held, but it didn't matter at this point because the Cowboys had won the game. This was after they picked off the pass on Casey Thompson to ice it. 168 yards of total offense for Oklahoma State. 168 to one for Texas. Their final six drives netted 12 yards. That's Sark's play calling. I know he's a wizard. I know he's great. I know this doesn't tell us a whole lot. We can't go on one game or six drives narrative and run with it. But at the same time, it does take the talent of an Alabama mixed with the Sark game planning and play calling. Yes, he's really good at what he does, but it doesn't do everything. When you get beat physically up front, you're not going to be able to run your playbook. For Oklahoma State, now 6-0, 3-0. and In the Big 12, not getting consideration for college football playoff talk. Nobody's talking about Oklahoma State. But they have defeated Boise State, Kansas State, Baylor, and now Texas. They go to Iowa State next week. If they beat the Cyclones, who are not having, of course, the season that we anticipated, but still, quality win, then maybe they start to get some talk. Kansas at West Virginia, TCU at Texas Tech, Oklahoma. Well, Oklahoma State could lose to any of these teams except Kansas. So they're not that good that they can look past anyone, but they can also win these games, and they've got the Sooners at home. To get to a Big 12 championship game, this win was crucial, and Oklahoma State got it. They are now 3-0. and they got six games left in the regular season. If they go 7-2, and they should get to the Big 12 championship game. 10 and 2, 7 and 2 in the Big 12 gets them to the championship game most likely. For Texas, ah, they need a miracle at this point. They've lost key games to Oklahoma and now to OK State. At Baylor, at Iowa State, difficult assignments. Could they be 4 and 5? Kansas, West Virginia on the road in Kansas State. Looks like a 7 and 5 finish for the Longhorns after all that hope and promise. Uh, at halftime last week. Uh, Your thoughts on Texas, Oklahoma State, the Big 12, right here at the Voice of College Football. Smash that like button. Join us for post-game shows all over the map every Saturday. And, of course, please subscribe uh, to know when we drop new content and go live with you right here at the Voice of College Football.